I was born in north of Malawi, so this is my village. And I started playing netball when I was 11 years old. And I used to walk to go to school like two hours to play netball there. Netball in Malawi uh, is a little bit different because we're still like very slow. In the villages, they use like different ball. I use like plastic bags, so we modeled by fire. That's how I used to pray. And this is a goal post I used when I was praying in my village. The, the link we make from the tire. So we make something from the tire from the car. I didn't wear shoes. I was just praying like barefooted. So it was different for us. Like I didn't know that there's like this wow. She's a crowd favourite, isn't she? Kumwenda steps in, lays it up, finds the middle. Our head coach at the time, Maxine Walker, said to us, you've got to get this girl. She is just dynamic. I think she's exactly what we're looking for. And so we started on our journey of trying to see how we could bring MJ out to Australia. My mom, she's the one who encouraged me when I was like, oh, I'm going to Australia. So she said to me, like, oh, go. But I was a little bit nervous. I was like, how can I go there? I went and picked up MJ from the airport <laughs> and bought her a little toy koala. It was great to see her, but I knew she was apprehensive and, and nervous because it was the unknown and driving down the, the freeway, I could just see her looking at all the cars and explaining that there was nothing like this back home. Here yeah, people speak fast. <laughs> so I was very shy to speak to people and the food is different, like, and weather. This was my first time to see this weather. I'm like, home is always hot. And when you feel cold, it's 25 degrees. We had a bond, I think, instantly even though we couldn't speak the language. Well, when we lived together in this house, we used to pull up the driveway and we always said, home sweet home, <laughs> <laughs> as, um, as we pulled up. My birthday last year, MJ came to my surprise birthday and gave me this card, which says, happy birthday, mum. And inside it says, happy birthday, Shelley. Thank you so much for all that you have done in my life, from the time you helped me from Malawi to come to Australia. I appreciate what I am today. It's all because of you. I can't forget the surprise you organised for me, for my mum to come to Australia. I believe one day you will visit me in Malawi. This is my dream. Costa sent me regard to your birthday too. Happy birthday once again, mum. Love. When I went to watch the big scenes in 2012, I was very excited to see the game because it was on TV and you can see like these super, superstars netball. I was eating chips and talking to my old coach that one day I'll play on this team. And there's the Kumwanda Jack. That lady there has just added a pillar of strength to the Melbourne Vixens. After each season, I always go back home and visit my mom in the village. And I also go to other schools because the money I get from netball, I also help some of the girls' school fees in Malawi because I don't want someone like, some of the girls like to stop and getting married because they can't find a school fees. There's another world, it's not in the village, there's also bright future for you guys.